What's happening Lockdown Legends and welcome back to my channel. Now we've got a problem, a massive problem Legends and this is it. Curry in a tin. Ugh, that's like dog food. Now there's only one real thing we're going to do with this garbage. See you later. Now let's get on and make a real curry and first we're going to need ingredients. Bam! There's all the ingredients that you're going to need to make this curry and if you want to know what's in here have a look right here here's all the ingredients take a screenshot write it down do whatever you want with it now it's time to get all this gear chopped up and there we go champions there's all the gear all cut up now it's really up to you how thick you want to cut it all up just get it cut up now i know you noticed another thing i'm not using any chicken and instead I'm using cauliflower. That's because not every dinner out there, champions, needs to have meat in it. But if you want to use chicken, use chicken. Let's talk rice, baby. In here, I've got one cup of basmati rice. Now we need to wash it and get rid of all the junk that's on it. Now you've got the rice over by the sink. Use cold water and just give your rice a good old rinse about. This gets rid of all the junk that's on it. Once you've done that rubbish, tip your rice into a saucy pan. Now get another saucepan and give it a little drizzle of oil. Now, once your pan's hot, get your garlic and your chilli and bosh it all straight in and give it a stir for about 30 seconds. Now your garlic's starting to turn a different shade of colour, it's time to go with all your other veggies. Bosh. Now that's been frying off for a few minutes and got some kick-ass colour on it, it's time to add some spices. Cumin, two teaspoons. Bosh. Bosh. Garam masala, one teaspoon. Bosh. Straight in. Now let's let the flavours get to know each other and give it a good old stir about. And then the kitchen stinks of curry. It's time to go in with your chopped tomatoes. Bosh. Next, float in a can of water. Bosh. And lastly, squeeze some tomato paste in. And now that's all done, get yourself a lid, pop it on and leave it to bubble away for 10 minutes. Now that's been chuffing away for six minutes. It's time to get our rice on. Now, good rule of thumb. For every one cup of rice, is one and a half cups of water. But me, I'm gonna be using coconut milk. Because why not? Now you don't have to use coconut milk for your party peeps at home. If you want to use water, use water. It makes no difference to me. Next off, chuck in a pinch of salt and crack in some pepper. Next off, fang the heat up really high. And there we go, the rice has just started to boil. Now's the time to fang a little. Turn the heat down low and leave it for eight to 10 minutes or until it's cooked. And now this bad boy's been on for 10 minutes, it's time to get the lid off and have a taste. Now, it's entirely up to you how you like your curry to taste. The best way to tell whether it's good or not is to get some on a spoon and pop it in your mouth. And if it needs more curry powder, salt or pepper, add it. Now for me, it needs a little bit more. So I've got some curry powder, so I'm going to fang two teaspoons in. A pinch of salt and some pepperoni. And now you've got your flavour absolutely bang on. Now's the time to add your spinach. It's totally up to you how much you want to add. Me, I'm just gonna go three. And now if you don't add spinach to your dish, don't add it. It's entirely up to you at the end of the day. Now, pop your lid on and just leave it for another five to 10 minutes, really. There we go, champions. It's all done. Now, if you want to know if your rice is cooked or not, taste some. If you think to yourself, cool, that rice tastes proper cooked, then it is. Now let's dish this sucker up. Look at that. Doesn't that look better than that tin garbage? But how does it taste? Flipping fantastic. Thank you all so much for taking the time out to watch this video. If you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. And until next time, tin sauces suck.